Hello everyone, this is Mark with MHTAlerts.com. Today is October 27, 2012, and this is the 11 p.m. advisory, the 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time advisory on the National Hurricane Center and the update here for Hurricane Sandy. All eyes are watching Hurricane Sandy for the East Coast. Take a look at this massive hurricane. It's a large Category 1 hurricane. So again, uh, just because it's a Category 1 doesn't mean it's not going to be a large impact, which it will be. And that's something we will be watching very close over the next few days here for the East Coast. The latest update as of 11 p.m., again, Eastern Daylight Time, advisory number 23. The max winds are at 65 knots or 75 miles per hour. Minimum central pressure is 960 millibars. And the location is at 30.9 degrees north, 74.3 degrees west. Movement is northeast at 12 knots or 14 miles per hour. So I'd like to bring up the information off of the image to alerts.com site so we can take a look at the latest path. So I'm going to bring that down here real quick. And here is the latest path. Now the problem is by Monday around 8 p.m. it's still going to be a Category 1 hurricane it looks like as it moves into the East Coast. And uh, that could be bad news and of course we'll be watching it very close between now and Monday. So again tomorrow I'll do the 11 a.m. advisory and the 11 p.m. advisory as well. So once again, those are the advisories that I'll be updating you on here on the MHTLarch.com site. So taking a look at the latest updates, you can go down below and see the latest update has been updated as 11.20 p.m. Central Daylight Time. And of course, this is the updated warnings and watches. And of course, that will be updated again tomorrow for sure. So taking a look at the latest radar, and again, you see this is a large hurricane, Category 1. And again, the National Hurricane Center, according to them, this is very... Uh, very much a big problem for the East Coast because what's going to happen is, is as it moves on in the winds are going to be very strong and they're going to have a lot of problem with uh, heavy downpours when it comes to the rain major flooding if possible as well so once again this is going to be a major uh, problem and it seems that uh, the National Hurricane Center is also indicating possible power outages for areas of up to two weeks or maybe more so once again, stay alert on this channel. I'll definitely keep you updated as best I can. Stay alert. Be cool. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.